Nicole, Audrey, thank you both so much for joining us this Wednesday. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Of course. Well, you've got such a unique event coming up here this Saturday for families with younger children. What can you tell us about the upcoming Roll and Read? So the Roll and Read is actually from the Parents and Teachers National Center. It really promotes um, really physical activity and literacy together. So it's really great. Um, there happen to be four reading stations. We're doing it in Evergy and Noto. We're partnering with uh, Noto um, Art Center to be able to do it. Um, and so it's just really a fun event. Love to see it. Like you've mentioned there, it's an event with a focus on promoting literacy and physical well-being for those younger kiddos. Can I have you speak on the importance of promoting those values so early on in life? Well, we just really know that so much of brain development happens before the age of three. And so really focusing on young children is so important. This week is the week of the young child. And so part of our celebration is this event, along with our Block Fest celebration that we're hosting with the Topeka Public uh, Library. So, um, but we just know that so much happens before the age of three, so much of brain, uh, brain growth happens. Right. And it's just so important for us to focus on young kids and really give them the best start. Yeah, can I have you both talk a little bit about how this collaboration kind of came to be? Well, I'll just start just because Audrey sort of came in a little bit, um, but uh, it really I just saw the event and posed it to United Way and said, hey, I really think this could be a really great way to support literacy with a grant that we have. Yeah, and United Way became involved um, through this grant, the Community Serving Early, or, I'm sorry, Community Supporting Early Literacy Grant, um, which is exactly what the name says. It um, comes through the Kansas Health Foundation, and um, they were generous enough to grant United Way that money, and we were able to partner up with um, a co coalition that involved parents as teachers, Topeka Public Schools 501, the public library, and um, that's how we got on board with the Roll and Read. It's one of my personal favorite events of the year. Yeah, Very fun. Love to see it. Looking forward to it here. Like you mentioned, Nicole, the community can come out to join in the fun in not one but two locations over at Evergy Plaza and Redbud Park in Noto. Now, we've talked about it a little bit. But what should attendees expect from those venues? Yeah, so uh, Evergy is going to have all of our community vendors. We've got vendors that are going to be out and telling you about their programs. Um, we'll have the Wreck and Roll bus from the um, Parks and Rec. We'll also have the Topeka Discovery Center that will be out there. And so um, then we'll have four stations of books. In fact, we'll have one station that is bilingual with bilingual readers okay. um, or Spanish speaking readers. Um, and so families will be able to walk to each of those locations and hear a different set of books. In Noto, it will be just the same, just on a smaller scale with different guest readers. And then, in fact, at 11, we'll have uh, Singing Sarah. Uh, doing a little performance in Redbud Park. Sarah, love to hear it. Well, you mentioned that there, there's so much happening here on Saturday. A parade kickoff as well, some reading stations like you mentioned there, stroller decorating mm -hmm. even, uh, and some free food, which never hurts. Yeah. Now, what's it mean to you both to have so much for kids and families alike to do for, for the Roll and Read event? Well, it's just so fun. We just enjoy so much being able to see all the kids and families. And they've, this is our third year doing it, and every year they have a lot of fun. Yeah, and um, I think that's something that's really fun about it is that it kind of kicks off the warm season right. for everybody, gets yeah. people out. And it brings a lot of folks from all over the city, not just the 501 area. In fact, last year we had a family who um, was just traveling through Topeka. I don't remember where they were from, but they weren't from Kansas. They just happened to be traveling through, came upon the event, and were blown away and super excited to um, participate in it. No so. kidding. That's so <laughs> awesome. Well, if all that wasn't enough, a free book will also be provided to every kiddo that attends. Can you give our audience a little sneak, sneak peek about which title or titles they can expect for their little Oh, album? man, there's so many good titles that we have. In fact, this year, I think my favorites, um, there is one that's actually a song that's turned into a book. It's actually a bilingual book, and I think that one's my favorite. Don't ask me the name off the top of my that's head. Okay. I'm just super excited about it. No, it um, awesome. And so we also have some younger books. We have some bigger kid books because we know that families uh, also don't just have their younger child. Right. They have a bigger yeah. kid, so we have some bigger kid books um, as well. There we go. Well, one aspect of Roland Reed I wanted to make sure that we touched on here today, there will be community partners there to highlight some programs around Topeka that support younger families. What does support like that mean for those families that are in the local area? 
Well, I mean, it's just finding out about things that maybe they've never heard of before, mm -hmm. right? Or something that maybe they've wanted to connect with but not been able to. Yeah. Um, and so it's just really great to have that all in one lo location. Um, every year we have people going, hey, can we participate again because they've had so much fun. Um, it's just so great to be able to partner together. It's, part it's great to partner with United Way um, as a school district uh, all together, but also the library, all of the books that will be read at the stations are from the library. And so you'll be able to go to the library and check those out with your uh, little one. Love to see it. Perfect timing. It's Library and Schools Month, I believe, mm -hmm. if I'm remembering right. So bringing it all together. Absolutely love to see it. Well, Nicole, Audrey, thank you both again for joining us today. Have a great time rolling and reading this Saturday. Should be a good one. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for having us. Yeah. Of course.